Good morning everyone. Welcome to my channel. Cook it simple with Eric. First thing we need to do is grab my coffee. I always like to start the day off with a good cup of coffee. A good breakfast. So today what we're going to do we will be making scrambled eggs with toast. It's just me in the house today so I'm just going to do a simple three eggs cook them up, throw some toast, that's my breakfast. I normally recommend three eggs per person, so if you're having two people make six eggs, three people nine eggs, etc., so on and so forth. So, let's get started. And today, we'll be using our bowl to scramble our lay eggs. I always like to use a whisk to scramble the eggs. A lot of people prefer a fork, whatever you prefer. Our silicone spatula or rubber spatula or non-stick pan I always suggest using a very good non-stick skillet for this task or you could have some difficulty so let's get started cracking some eggs Now what I like to do, before I add any type of milk, cream, anything like that, I like to get these whipped up. Just kind of give them a good toss around. Now remember this goo here, there's a reason. Now today I'm just going to use 2%, you can use whole milk, 2% milk, mayonnaise, sour cream, heavy cream, light cream, half and half, whatever you choose, um, or nothing at all. I like to use about a tablespoon, maybe two. To me it just kind of gives you a little bit fluffier egg. I could be wrong, but I just want to whip it up. I start seeing bubbles, kind of a consistent pale yellow thing. And a little bit more. And I always try to get to where that goo is not really sticking on there anymore. There is perfect. That'll work. So if you look at the eggs, you got a nice light airiness about them, some bubbles. That's what I like to see. Now comes the fun part, we get to cook them. Oh, that's hot, that's hot, still hot. All right, it's like I want to use this induction burner for the simple fact I don't want to use my gas stove for this because of filming. So let's turn it on. Now I've used this a handful of times, so I already know I like to cook my eggs on this about three and a half, 3.5 on here, which is kind of a, a medium to low, kind of in between medium low. All gas, gas cooks a little quicker. This actually cooks pretty good. We're just going to set it to 3.5 from here. If I think it's cooking too fast, I can, I can adjust it down or I can adjust it up, whichever. I like to cook my scrambled eggs a little slower just to keep the moisture in them. I don't like a dry egg. Uh, let's grab some butter. And again, for this, I like to use butter because I like the added flavor. You can use olive oil, you can use whatever oil you, that you choose. I'm a butter guy. Eggs like butter. 
so we might as well use water. Now these things do heat up quickly. You can see that already. Yeah, a little more. Like I said, eggs like butter. So we'll set the butter back here because I have toast that we're going to make here in a minute. So for eggs today, we are going to be adding some white cheddar cheese towards the end. Now because I'm adding cheese, cheese has salt. You won't see me salting these eggs, but I will put pepper right at the end. I try to be a little, a little salt conscious, a little sodium conscious when I cook. So I try to make sure, see what has salt, what doesn't. Looks like they're going to be cooking pretty quick. And that is not what I want. I always scrape the bottom. I don't like to have waste in there. I feel like to do that. I think I am going to kick it down to three, though. So while we wait, I have a cup of coffee here. So I've created this channel because I want people who's never cooked before or who's new at cooking to kind of pick up on the techniques that I use. I'm not a chef by any means. I just cook at home. I've been cooking for many, many years. I enjoy cooking all kinds of recipes. Um, but in this video series, we're more going to concentrate on the easier everyday cooking things that you can cook in 5-10 minutes. Feed yourself, feed your family, feed your friends. Uh, low cost meals hopefully it helps so I'm not seeing any oh we're starting to see a little bit there all right now we're getting there at this stage I like to have my cheese lined up my pepper lined up These eggs will cook down pretty fast. Now for me, I'm just going to use one, one slice of cheese. I'll just, you'll, you'll see. Uh, looks like we're, yeah, we're starting to get a little movement going on there. I don't know if you can see this. Let me just break it up and take it off the side there. That's what I love about these rubber spatulas. They clean the sides really well. I think I got this one at Meyer for uh, six, seven dollars, maybe at Kohl's. But as you can see, we're starting to really do what we need to do here. thing for a second Probably about another 45 seconds we'll start throwing the cheese in I'm doing the pepper thing I'll go ahead and put our toast down I'm not going to show you the toast and toaster we've all seen it most of us there we go toaster's getting old doesn't want to stay down So here, I like to keep my eggs a little, a little bit of moisture in my eggs at the end, so I don't want to overcook them. I don't want them sloppy by any means, but as you can see, we're really starting to come together beautifully. And here, I probably will put my cheese in about this time, so that way it has a chance to fully melt. I just crumble it up. This white cheddar is kind of a drier cheese, so it does crumble very nicely. Um, you can use whatever cheese you want. Sometimes I'll use American cheese, um, Swiss cheese, whatever. If you want to add different things in it, it's your choice, it's your eggs. All right, one for me. I just. Mix them all around, and I'm not going to add the pepper quite yet. I like to do that right towards the end. I 
as you can see the eggs are just looking beautiful at this time let them kind of sit there for a minute not really a minute a few seconds yeah, we gotta throw some fresh cracked pepper on there might be about out and I'm about out but none to fear back up oh yeah they are looking exactly like they're supposed to there's our toast she's melted up in there as you can see it's still a little loose still a little moist that is how I like it but the pan's hot so this is going to cook down just a little bit more I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and let that sit there let me get my toast buttered and my bread buttered There's our toast. Looking good. Oh my goodness, those are just exactly as they should be. Hopefully you can see that. everybody there's our quick and simple breakfast scrambled eggs what a beaut let's try it those are nice hot and steamy loose fluffy look at that I mean it doesn't get any better than this hmm that white cheddar cheese just sets an egg perfectly. All right, well, thank you everybody for watching my channel and watching how to make scrambled eggs. Our next series, grilled cheese and tomato soup. Thank you for watching.